What's up guys, Luna with Max S here. Another reaction video. This one's from Claire Martin. Uh, Siege of Jada, Jadoville? Jadoville? I hope I'm saying that right. Apparently it's a new uh, movie or series that's going to be on Netflix. I'm really excited this request got through because I really like doing, uh, I really like movies, especially if it's something that I might be uh, into. Like, because I'm going to watch this for the first time. I don't have any clue what it's going to be about. I'm hoping I'll like it or at least be intrigued because I have Netflix and I love it. Anyways, if you want to get your name on that board right there, all you got to do is subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. I'll put you on the list. You'll eventually end up on the board. I'm trying to shorten my intros and get straight to the point. So I'm going to leave me running my mouth on a message to my subscribers. So when you see a message to my subscriber pop up, that means I'm about to tell you something crazy or whatever. But uh, anyways... If you want to watch this video without me running my mouth, go to Netflix UK and Ireland. Uh, I'm guessing that's where you're from, Claire Martin. So I clicked that one. There was a regular Netflix one, and then there was Netflix UK and Ireland. The the uh, dis the link is going to be in the description down below if you want to watch this without me running my mouth. Let's go ahead and get it started. Where am I? There it is. What? The UN was established to ensure that the nations of the world would never again engage in another world war. As a neutral country, we are the second wave of Irish soldiers to be sent into the Congo. Jesus fucking snake! <laughs> I do the same thing when I see snakes. Are wide open. They would never dare attack United Nations company. You've never been in battle. Do you have a plan? Just to pray there's no need for us. Oh, they're about to get raided. <laughs> Everybody, church is dismissed. I require your surrender. If you continue to attack, we will continue to respond. You do realize that you are outnumbered by a factor of oh my goodness, dude. You're hanging this out to dry. I'm gonna have to watch this for real. Reinforcements. There are larger things here at play than you can possibly imagine. I don't give a damn about the larger things. Tell me what I'm supposed to do in each of our part to play in history. Yours is happening right now. That's My like goodness, it. did you see how many people are coming down the hill? Dude, that looks crazy. Was that? Well, it said it's going to be two minutes. That feels like it wasn't two minutes. It's probably because, like, action, your heart rate goes up and all that and whatever. That's crazy, dude. I'm going to have to check that out. Let's see what the top comment is. <laughs> top comment. This looks great. <laughs> all right, whatever. I'll thumbs up it. I forgot. I got to thumbs up the video, too. Why are people thumbs down in this? It must be the people who are attacking. They're coming on here and thumbs down this. Looks class. From the Irish perspective, it's brilliant that Netflix chose this story uh, of our history. Many Irish people don't even know about it. The government back in the day sold the soldiers out to, branded them failures, and it was only a few years ago that they were given the official accolades that they deserve. That's not just an Irish culture. That's an American culture, too. It's just now, like, we've gotten to the point now where, you know, we were involved in Vietnam. Vietnam was a disaster, and it wasn't because of the troops on the ground. They were just doing what they were told. It was because the politicians, the government, was telling them what they could and could not do, and it severely, like a lot of men and women lost their lives in Vietnam trying to protect South Vietnam. And <clears throat> now it's just coming out that, like, hey, you guys did what you were supposed to do. It was just the government screwed you. And that happens a lot. Like, it says that the, uh, the government back in the day sold the soldiers out. Talking about the Irish government. That happens just about everywhere. The government, like, people like me, so I'm in the Air Force, I just do what I'm told. They give me orders somewhere, I go there, I do a job. You know what I'm saying? And they lie to you and they'll tell you, hey, you're doing, you know, like, I haven't been lied to. But they'll tell, like, you know, back in the day, they would tell and be like, hey, you're doing the right thing for your country. So you know no difference. So like it's it's like why would you hate on the actual soldiers? 
that are doing it, you need to look and see who the uh, root of the cause is, which most of the time it's the government that's causing the the problem. And so that's not just an Irish thing. That's a everybody thing. The government, a lot of times, and that's why you need to really pay attention to what your government's doing because a lot of times they will screw over their people for some crazy. It's, it's what the, the few... Uh, overlook the many or something. I don't know, some kind of quote or whatever. But so I'm gonna have to watch this because apparently it's it's possibly this looks more current because there's fighter jets and stuff like that. So it's possibly like we had the Black Hawk Down thing. I think it was Mogadishu or something. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that. We had the Black Hawk Down incident where, uh, which you've probably seen the movie Black Hawk Down. There's a lot of uh, UK actors in that movie, which is funny. It's a, a movie about American soldiers, and most of the actors are, are, are from the UK or Australia, but um, which y'all have good actors, so I understand. Because, uh, what's his name? Dad Gummit? Uh, Bane. And he's also playing Venom. How, seriously, how did I forget his name? I'm telling you, I've got early onset Alzheimer's. Uh, dang it, dude. Seriously. So there's Christian Bell. Is Batman? I have to go through like I, I swear when I get on camera I have early onset Alzheimer's. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. <laughs> I have to look it up. This is how bad it is right now. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. Once he put Tom Hardy, it did. I didn't. It didn't even pop up. It just hit me. Tom Hardy. My goodness. Tom Hardy was in Black Hawk Down which is an American movie about American soldiers somewhere in Africa. I can't really remember where, but uh, somewhere in Africa. And it was kind of a hush-hush mission. So once once things started going going bad, like once some helicopters got shot down, troops got trapped, the government didn't really want it to get out that we were there. So those troops got screwed. The troops on the ground, they got screwed. And it was the government's fault. It wasn't the troops on the ground's fault. They were just doing their job. They were trying to retrie uh, retrieve hostages. I guarantee you this is probably the same scenario. The government's like, hey, go do this for your country. So these people, they go do it, and they end up getting screwed over. And it takes several years later for the government to finally be like, all right, we screwed up. You know, so we're going to go ahead and, and give them their medals and, and give their family the money they deserve and all that. But I'm really excited for that reason to watch this. Anyways, Claire Martin, I really appreciate the request. You should request more because that was a really good one. And now I'm going to be on Netflix seeing if this is out right now. 1961. That, there it is. Uh, siege of Jado, Jadoville. Am I saying that right? Tells the true story of the 1961 siege of a 150-member Irish UN battalion under Commander Patrick Quin, Quinlan by 3,000... Congolese troops, I probably said that all wrong, led by French and Belgian mercenaries working for mining companies. Uh, Jamie Durant, D Dornan uh, plays the Irish commander, blah, blah, blah. That's just who's playing them. That's crazy. So, like, the UN apparently is trying to keep the peace or whatever, and then you had the, uh, the French and Belgian mercenaries uh, were leading, I guess, rebels for a mining company. That's crazy, dude. That's a pretty intriguing story. You got mercenaries versus the UN, I, like, full of Irish people. That That's crazy, dude. I'm seriously going to have to watch this. Anyway, sorry I ran my mouth too long. Appreciate y'all watching and all that stuff. Remember, you subscribe or comment down below, whatever. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll eventually put it on the board. Uh, seriously, Claire Martin, request more, because this... I gotta watch this now. Appreciate y'all watching. Check me out. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, and like always, check me out in the streets.